All right, kids, let's uh, figure out how to draw this axle here. Um, before we get going, just, just look at the instructions. You'll notice that it says sketch only half of the section, and they're trying to point to, to the blue part. Okay, so we are going to sketch that blue outline, and then we're going to revolve it 360 degrees. And when we do that, that's going to create a circular piece instead, which is going to look like that axle above. After we finish that axle, then it comes time to do this little rectangular cutout. I'm going to do that in a series of videos here. I don't know how each long bit each video is going to be, but um, I'll walk you through the process step by step. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with just, you know, that's a pretty ridiculous shape here. Um, so rather than draw like rectangles or anything, we're just going to use the line tool and the dimension tool, and we're going to get everything in place. Okay. One other thing that I want to note before I flip over to Inventor here, this dash line here is a center line. It's the center of a circle. Okay, and so um, you'll notice over here that we see little markings here, and that means like the diameter. That symbol stands for diameter, and the diameter of a circle is 0.19. That means from this surface to this surface, right? And so uh, we want to keep that in mind. The reason they're showing us diameters here is because it's really a circular piece, right? So um, basically, I, I think I may, um, I may cut off the video here. Well, no, I'll show you a couple of steps, right? So let's do the line. Okay, I've created a sketch here. Start with the line tool. I'm just going to start drawing the outline. So I'm going to come over a little bit. Uh-oh. We're running slow on this laptop today, aren't we? Okay, and up a little bit. Over a little bit. Up a little bit. Over a little bit. Up a little bit. Then it comes over some. Kind of playing this by memory. I hope I'm close. Then it comes up. It goes over, comes down. We have a slanted piece here, and then there's a little lip where it goes straight up, over, down a little bit, over, finish it off. Okay, right click. Okay, I'm done with it. I have, let's not show that. Okay, I have a basic outline, right? And I know that's not correct, but we're going to use the dimension tool. Okay. Now the thing that's throwing everybody off as I see people building it in class is how do I do that diameter thing that I mentioned just a few seconds ago, right? How do I dimension this diameter? Well, in order to do that, I need to draw one more line. But before I do that, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick center line. Okay. So I'm going to choose and notice now it's highlighted up there in the corner. And I'm going to draw a center line right here along this axis. Okay. And now I'm done with that. Click OK. Okay. Now when I dimension, I'm going to be able to use that dimension tool. For instance, remember the 0.19 we had? Oh, I messed up. Hold on. There's a little lip there. I missed this little lip there. Sorry if there's a glitch in the video. I accidentally paused it. Um, so let, let's go back to Inventor and uh, let's let's add that in. Okay. So it needs to come down a little bit and then over. Um, oops. Accidentally uh, still have the center line on. Just fumbling around now, aren't I? Okay. Let's try this again. Let's choose that line. Let's uncheck the center line so it's just a normal construction line. And then I'm going to use the trim tool here. I'm just going to take care of this little piece and that little piece. Okay, so now it looks correct. Now we can go dimension. Okay, so if you recall, as I was trying to show, it's 0.19 is the diameter that we see right here, between here and here. When I come over, because I put that center line in and I'm dimensioning the distance from this line to this line, watch what happens when I drag it over. Oh, it gives me a diameter, right? So I can click here and I can do 0.19, hit enter. And now that's at the correct spot, right? And so uh, that'll get you going. I'm going to leave it up to you to go and dimension the rest of the shape and to get everything in. Uh, I guess I want to show you one more thing, okay? Um, when I see on this thing, I notice a lot of people messing up this 0 0.01 right here. And you'll notice if I zoom in far enough, what it's really saying is that the drop of this slanted line, see from right here down to right here, it drops 0 0.01 inches. Okay, so to dimension that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click one end of the line. I'm going to click the other end of the line. I'm going to pull it off to the side here. And I can see now the drop right now is 0.033, so let's change that to 0.01. There we go. Now I've got the drop correct on that slanted piece. Okay, So you can see things starting to move around. That's going to be an issue. I really need to lock things into place. But I'll let you go ahead and dimension everything else. Make sure whenever you finish up that it says zero dimensions needed down here in the corner.